The gift of the Givers Foundation in Malawi has begun its distribution of the relief items donated by the people of South Africa for the Malawi floods victims. Gift of the Giver South Africa, through the Foundation's founder, Dr. Imtia Suleiman, mobilized relief items and the South African people responded to the call by donating various foods and medical supplies to the Malawi flood victims. The trucks carrying the South African aid have been trekking to Malawi and offloading at the Gift of the Giver's Malawi office warehouse. And the Gift of the Givers Foundation Malawi team has been delivering this aid to various camps of displaced people. It's now close to two months after raging floods hit Malawi, leaving the country devastated and crying to the outside world for assistance. Two months on, Malawi is still counting the cost of damages to infrastructure, agriculture and people's livelihoods. Fresh floods in districts such as Insanje and Chikwawa have forced the victims to continue staying in camps as it is still dangerous to go back to their villages. Communities have been displaced. This woman, only known as Gogombelu, wishes to go back to her village and be with her two daughters and four grandchildren. But her daughters and grandchildren are among those classified as missing and now presumed dead. But Gogo still does not accept the reality. She believes she will be able to be reunited with her family very soon. But in reality, she will never see them again. <laughs> She comes from Miowa, where an entire village was washed away by the raging floods. She only survived the floods because on the fateful day she was in hospital on the higher grounds and her daughters were back home taking care of her house. Everyone here has a story to tell on what happened on that fateful day. Most of these women have lost husbands. Trina's husband died when he went back home fighting the floods in order to save the little possessions which they owned. She is expectant, and her baby shall be born without a father. But even she still believes her husband will come back because she never buried him. How can you say he died, she asks. I never saw his body. He must be somewhere, and is also looking for us. He will find us. In the camps, the situation is still there. Food came in the first week of the disaster when the Malawi floods were making headlines in the international media. But now the food supply is dwindling as the world is slowly forgetting the Malawi floods disaster. Traces of malnutrition in children have been confirmed. Linda's child Angelina has been diagnosed with malnutrition. <laughs> Malnutrition also comes about because some of the foods that the victims are given, such as beans, take a long time to prepare. And with lack of firewood, the food is always half cooked. It is with this background that the tinned fish which were donated by the people of South Africa came in handy. These are some of the food items that have come from South Africa. They have ufa that they're using to cook consima, and uh, this is the tinned fish. They were complaining that they had a lot of flour, a lot of people were bringing flour, but then they never had any relish. So as you can see, the baby is enjoying eating the fish that has been donated by the South African people. And they're very thankful to the South African people and the South African government for such a generous donation. 
the South African people also donated biscuits which were distributed to children. As you can see, the gift to give us official is distributing biscuits that have been donated by the people of South Africa. These are glucose biscuits which are high in energy and they're very necessary for the children that are very active at this time and need that energy as they're not even getting enough food. And for the hygienic purposes of the flood victims, the people of South Africa donated baby diapers. Most of these mothers have never used diapers before. All they use are pieces of clothes which they wrap around the baby. The gift of the giver's team took time to demonstrate to groups of mothers how diapers are used. These mothers shall also educate other mothers who shall pass on the message to others for the benefit of all mothers affected by the floods. With traces of malnutrition in children, the gift of the Givers Foundation is also stepping up its nutrition response to the flood disaster by donating high energy and high protein foods such as Sibusiso which are ready to eat foods. Two months after the floods, there have been an outbreak of cholera and malaria in most camps in Sanje districts. The medical supplies donated by the South African people are coming at the right time. The Malawi floods disaster is no longer making the headlines in the international media. But on the ground, the situation is still helpless. The risk of widespread disease outbreaks are high. The Malawi government has been asking partners to help with winter cropping initiatives by assisting flood survivors who lost their crops with seeds and fertilizers. This is the only way to avert hunger this year. In early May, farmers may be able to plant a winter crop which they may harvest in August. The food which the South Africans donated has gone a long way to help the flood victims with a nutritious diet. With this donation, South Africa has shown to the rest of the world that they are a friend indeed.